consider the Lord my friend because the Father knew me. me. Said this a one and even the bad day done class that we deal with the stress where some people go. It's time for the teacher, the master, the entertainer. It is time for the one and only. Chris will be a V Vibes Master on Caribbean Vibes Radio Network. KVRN. Caribbean Vibes Radio Network, covering the globe like no one else can. Here is your host, Chris Wilby. Like a vice, we go lock up on the master, my friend, and stop and worry yourself. I will be father, no obey. When you see them, and I worry for stop all the pain and stress, the father, no obey. So when things and time get rough, and you think that you don't have enough, what is it? This is Simone Mayer, the right of you, Night Jamaica people. And you are listening to The Chris Wilby Show on Caribbean Vibes Radio. You know, you know, you know, you know, we have to bless the place. You know, we have to bless the place. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. What kind of music we're going to play throughout the program. You know, we have to bless the place first and foremost. Good evening. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Another Thursday, another Thursday. I'm in the house. It's Chris Wilber, the Vibes Master. How are you doing? How are you doing, everybody? Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to another episode of the Chris Wilby Show on Caribbean Vibes Radio Network, covering the globe like no one else can, streaming live to Linkage Radio over there in New York. And of course... Big bad station. Because the father no bed. Look at them so away just to sneak across the bar. If you make a better life, feed them son and then daughter. Oh, by your castle, living is getting higher. You know how much it takes to eat the house in the winter. When nobody nan does, do you know fear by your few tree job? I try to throw a partner. Try to stack away a little thing for future. Cause if you know do that. The big bad station. Mental health come from the agenda. From Trelawney, the Trelawney station. They call it Fit FM. They're only five years old, you know. But you would have never know. Because them fit can done. Fit FM. That is 6.7. Your life, your music. Good evening to you, Julia. Of course, my name is Chris Wilby. They call me the Vibes Master. And we're going to be here to vibe up the place all evening from now on. <laughs> from now until then, right? It is two hours of music, information, entertainment. You can't forget the hot topic of the evening. Are we going to throw some nuggets in there? We're going to throw some nuggets in there. Just so we're keeping you informed. How's everybody doing this evening? I guess some people are back at school already. The holiday is done and people are back to normal and uh, yeah. Well, we, we never get much of the holidays over here in the United States, you know. We never get much of the holidays because uh, you know how that is. We had to go to uh, we had to go to church uh, work rather on Good Friday. There was no there was no holiday on a Good Friday here. No. So 
there yep. was no holiday, but there was holiday in Jamaica. There was also the Easter Monday holiday, and people got their bun and cheese and blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Stop, stop, stop all the pain and stress. School was out. They call it mid midterm. Yeah, midterm, yeah. And you think that you don't have enough for So they had their midterm and uh, so everybody back to normal now. Not sure. All right. So uh, we're going to get the show on the road. We're going to get the show on the road. So stand by. Let us get the show on the road. You know how we do it. You know how we do it here. Once we get, once you hear this song, you know that we have officially started the show. All right. <laughs> Find the sunshine most of the time And the feeling is laid back The palm tree grow, rents so are low, don't you know But I keep working my way back But I'm a Jamaican boy who's born and raised Nowadays I'm lost between two shores L.A.'s fine but it ain't home New York is home but it ain't mine no more mm -hmm. I am myself To know one day music once you hear that sound you know that we have officially started the program it is uh, it's a beautiful beautiful evening what's a you how is it going in your neck of the woods what were you doing it's a beautiful day here on my end and we're hoping to have a, a great evening this evening it's big people music this evening you know it's big people music and uh, we're going to be playing some songs and um hey listen listen let me get let me get some more of this gospel music here and then we're gonna go 
into the big people music yeah because uh, you know if you are of a certain age i don't know tonight's tonight's uh, songs may not be for you you know it may not be for you at all i don't know that's why it's entitled uh, Big People's Inting. Father knows best. This one you're just dropping on. It's pre release. It's pre release. This one here is from King of the King himself, King Arthur. You know, I I I, I was uh I was at work uh, a couple of days ago, you know, and I was uh, listening into Caribbean Vibes Radio Network, my favorite station, yeah. And uh, um, you know, we carry Julia Benaya in the mornings, so I was listening to Caribbean Vibes Radio Network and listening into Julia and. Uh, I hear she kicking up some storm there. You'd say in, in Jamaica, we say she a kick up, kick, up, kick up rumpos, right? And I hear she dropped this one here. And right away, I couldn't even wait until she get off here, you know. I sent her a message. I said, Julia, you got to send that one to me. you got to send that one to me. And by the time I got home, it was in my inbox. I hear Julia saying, Oh, this one no release yet, you know. This one is pre release, so and I'm like, What? Let me not feel that too bad. So, this one here uh, soon to be released. It's not yet officially released, but uh, you know, some people got it. And if you have connection, and if you have connection, have some connection over this, uh, yeah. And so, Julia, drop it. And you know, we have to let it go. So, listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. From the King Arthur. Sisters and sir, welcome to JA. On the big J today, it's a Saturday, huh? In the morning, in the dawning. The young Jamaica show. What a show! What a show! On Big JBC Radio. So, Marcus the Sock Soul, Boss Jock Soul, and Shock Soul from the Steep to the Cell people, huh? Baby, 
Everything is all right and I don't mean maybe. Compliments of Jamaica Recording and Publishing Studio of 13 Renford Road in Kingston. In collaboration with Music City. The slickest little kitty of the city, huh? I just thought I'd throw that one in there. A voice from the past. That's how, that's how radio used to sound, you know, back in the day. That's Winston, the late Winston, the Whip Williams on JBC, J Bubbling C, they used to say. And I used to love, I used to love listening into radio. I have been addicted to radio from my eyes there, my knees, you know. Yeah, man, I am addicted to radio. I love radio, man. I want to say good evening to my Linkage Radio family. What's happening, fam? What's happening? What's happening? Sister Pat, how you doing? Mr. DL, how you doing, my brother? What's happening? Hope you're having a very, very wonderful evening. Chilling out over there in New York. And all the rest of the Linkage family... How y'all doing? Lady D, Denise Gomez. throw out we're gonna throw out the hot topic of the evening in just a moment stand by for that the hot topic of the evening or of the week you gotta stand by for that all right it's the international show with a jamaican vibe Good evening to you, Sister Audette. You How are you doing, my sister? Are you ready for the Big People Show? Do Don't forget to like and share the YouTube the link. Those of you listening in on YouTube. I want to say big up to all those tuning in on CaribbeanVibesRadio.com. We're going to share some nuggets with you later on. Some of them are a little bit interesting. Some of them entertaining. And some of them are informative. Because that's what we do here, right? We inform, we uplift, and we entertain. It is so good for you to settle down. It doesn't care for you to roam the town. When you're in love, it's a lovely life. When someone asks you 
Good evening to you, Sister Camille. How's it going in your neck of the woods? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, when you hear that sound, you know it is time for me to throw out the hot topic of the evening, and we're going to get back to the music right after this, but we're going to throw the hot topic of the evening out there, so you can start to think about it, and some of you can start to formulate your answers, right? The hot topic of the evening. It is hot. It is hot. It is hot. And this evening, uh, it is entitled Deceptive Lover. Deceptive Lover. Hmm. I don't know. And the question goes, am I wrong for being mad? Am I wrong for being mad? Am I wrong for being mad? It is a hot topic. It says here, my girlfriend of four years recently told me that she's been faking it. Mm, She's been faking it. My girlfriend of four years recently told me that she has been faking it all along. And it goes further. It says that the only time that I have... Let me let me pull this up here. It says, My girlfriend of four years recently told me that she has been faking it. And I have only been able to get her off twice. I've only been able to get her off twice in four years. So let me read, let me read what this story actually says. It says, My partner was a victim of sexual abuse in her past, which I was aware of. What I was not aware of until a few weeks ago was that after four years together, she's been faking it all this time. She gets off with her sex toys, but has a serious detachment from human connection. It recently came out that after all these years of using, of us being together rather, that she has only orgasmed two times. I was devastated. I had no opportunity to try and fix the problem. Now that I am aware I've noticed that no no matter how long we go in the bed or how many times, her mind does not allow her to fully climax even when she gets close to it. Knowing all this has shattered my confidence. Am I wrong for feeling wronged and mad? Is there any hope for our relationship? I am devastated. 
I feel as if she's been lying to me all these years. I'm going to read it again for you. For those of you who are listening in on the radio, I want you to listen carefully. What's going on here? It says, my partner was a victim of sexual abuse in her past, which I was aware of. What I was not aware of until a few weeks ago was that after four years together, she's been faking it all this time. She gets off with her sex toys, but has a serious detachment from human connection. It recently came out that after all these years of us being together, that she has only orgasmed two times. I was devastated. I had no opportunity to try and fix the problem. Now that I'm aware, I've noticed that no matter how long we go in the bed or how many times her mind does not allow her to fully climax, even when she gets close to it. Knowing all this has shattered my confidence. Am I wrong for feeling wronged and mad? Is there any hope for our relationship? I am devastated. I feel as if she's been lying to me all these years. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Oh, my word. I don't think it can get any hotter than that. It is steaming in here. Oh, somebody, somebody turn on the AC for me there. Oh, Lord, I'm burning up. Oh, the AC is on. So why feel like 150 degrees in here? Whew. No, sir. Why does it feel like it's 150 degrees? It's hot. The number to call is 774-408-8860. 774-408-8860 or you can send a WhatsApp message at 508-762-7621. I say again, you can send a WhatsApp message at 508-762-7621. And while we are getting our first caller here, uh, good evening. You're live on the radio. Five Master, good evening. Blessing and greetings to our KPR family. Blessings, my family. How you doing? Know? I just catch you and I uh, hear you asking why that temperature. You sure you're not faking it? <laughs> Lord, I'm burning up in here, brother. I'm burning up you in sure here. You're not, you sure you're not faking it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy, my brother. How you doing, man? How you doing? I'm giving God thanks for life, bro. <laughs> yeah. Good to hear your voice, man. I just call it to ask you for sure. You're not speaking it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're not going to answer, right? It's, I, it's not me, you know. It's not me. It's not no, me. It's, no, you, said it, it, you feel like it's a hundred and something. So I'm yes. saying, sure you're not speaking it. <laughs> all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it feels like a hundred. I feel because the, this topic, boy... <laughs> Yeah, I, you think you, I think you're faking it, man. You make your, you make your blush, you make your blush, you know, you make your, you get all, you know, all kind of things. I don't know. So what's you your take? What? What's your take on the topic? <laughs> I don't have much to say. You know, the good the, thing about it, the yeah. good thing about it, you know, she can't say. <laughs> she can't say. Okay, all right. The good, the good thing about it, she can't say. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think you think that they, 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 him should have feel mad? You think him should feel mad and upset that um she was faking it all this time? Uh, that's right now is like it's a form of dishonesty. She should have opened up all those things long ago. Mm. I'm gonna tell you the honest truth. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like I'm here working and you tell me you're satisfied when you know damn well if you're not satisfied, <laughs> excuse my language, right? Yeah. <laughs> so so yes. You have all right. Yeah. If you be dead, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, know, you should situation things happen, right? Things does happen and you know, mm -hmm. it's known of us wish for all those things to happen and many things happen. But right. she should have come clean with him in the beginning and you know, tell him this and say, Okay, this is how I am and 
you know, he would approach it in a different manner, knowing that, yes. Mm-hmm. So, you, so you believe there, there is hope for the relationship? Well, yes. Okay. All things are possible. Mm-hmm. If they determine if they love each other, that doesn't make, you know, the love really say, well, then stretch apart or go apart, you know? Right, right. That things take time and it just happened the right time. Nothing happened before the time, so maybe just the right time. I hear you, my brother. Feeling, I can't blame him for his feeling. You know, maybe I would feel the same way. You should have just tell me a long time. Just tell me a long time all over ago and I'm going to deal with it. Mm-hmm. Let me stay in it if more I stay in it. You know, I'm going to continue believing yet. You know, if I say, all right, continue, fake it, or, or, you know, mm-hmm. just don't worry, fake it. You know, mm-hmm. you understand what I say? Mm-hmm. It, it shouldn't, she shouldn't have him locked up in the darkness like that. Yeah, four years. And if, if you... I can imagine Monday they are work, you know, and you know, you yeah. can can you imagine um feel good in yourself, man, and that myself. Oh Lord. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and obvi- obviously want he he wants to please her because I mean he's not one of those selfish guys that just wants exactly. his. You know, cause you have some guys out there who just wants theirs, you know. They don't care about um giving once, once, the once woman. Reach, them reach, them care exactly. So he <laughs> is upset that all this time he was he uh, thought he was giving her what but she desired. Mm. You know? Yeah, so, so she should have told him about it in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it does, but that not have to cause a relationship. You understand? It's not like it's somebody else involved in it. Mm-hmm. It's just giving her, and yes, you have to understand. So I think you need to hug her and just forgive her and move forward. Okay. That's so been damaged. You understand me? Yes, yes, and yes. It's not easy. You know, not that like I know, I understand what it is all about, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. When somebody being through those situations. So, you know, you need to hold her close, hug her closer. Don't don't push her away from it, you know? Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the matter is better. I agree. Right? Yes. Yeah, so she need, you know, hug her, you know. You could have said a long time, you know, but here, well, come on, word, let's, let's be straight about everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how I see it. You know, everyone might see it different. All right, no my, problem. Let's see problem. what others think about it. And thank you very much for calling my brother. Take and take it, bro. take it easy on the job. Yeah, and don't, don't overwork here, right. yourself. <laughs> All right, <my> <laughs> All right, God bless. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So we um, don't know what others are going to to think but um guess what as we say as we say you know it is a big people it is big people music this evening you know In your arms, it is big people music and made love to me This one here is from Colleen Davis. Stealing love on the side. Your name caress me. Your body possess me. I'll be satisfied 
But ladies and gentlemen, the telephone line is now open. 774-408-8860. 774-408-8860. Or you can send me a, a WhatsApp message on the WhatsApp line. That's 508 Sister Cherry Ann, good evening. What's happening? Good to have you back, my sister. Full time. <laughs> Each night while I'm sleeping, oh, so lonely. I'll share your love and dreams that once were true. I've waited so long for you to write me. But just a minute. This man, he has been in a relationship with a woman for the past four years. And it has recently come to his attention that she has been faking her orgasm all this time. So when man did ya walk and man did ya walk and think say he might accomplish something, only to find out. Why? Nah. Yeah. It wasn't happening. Needless to say, he is upset. And he's asking us for advice. What's your advice to him? Should he be upset? Should he feel like, uh, you know, I am wrong here because this woman has been lying to me? Can you imagine working, working and People are well and pam bedded and bed and screaming and making all kinds of, you know, a man feel like 
man I do something. And then four years later, you think about all those countless nights, all those countless days that you were working and you weren't really accomplishing anything because... Uh, But you know, it wasn't just uh, because uh, she was just faking it for faking it's sake, you know. She had a traumatic experience. She was uh, molested. And so she, because of that, it affected her. But uh, there is also the fact that, uh, you know, she kind of lied to him, you know. So, I don't know. Should he feel bad that, hey, this woman has been lying to me for four years i don't know what's your take on the matter 774-408-8860-508-762-7621 so many have tried tried to find a love like yours and mine Girl, don't you realize how you hypnotize? Make me love you all each time. Honey, I'll never leave you lonely. I give my love to you only. To you only. Lord of mercy. I tell you, it's big people's hinting tonight, you know. Let me uh, let me run over to the WhatsApp line and see who is on. Who is on my WhatsApp line? Good evening. Hello, 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 everyone. Um, I love these topics. I get so excited with these topics. Um, I have to say that um, with this particular subject matter, I think it's okay for the guy to feel disappointed. Um, and even potentially a little hurt because I think that he would have want his partner to be more open with him. Um, taking into account her experience and what she's going through. I do think that one, there is hope for the relationship. Um, she has to work through her own traumatic experience to be able to get to a place where she can be fully comfortable with her partner. Um, whether that's through, you know, couples therapy or her own individual therapy, however she wants to do that, I think is fine. But I think that she has to, she has to go through her own, um, her own, her own trauma history and really being able to address that to be an effective partner sexually. Um, I think that, you know, there is definitely opportunity for them to work on that and build that and maybe even, you know, um, for her to explore her thoughts around feeling safe during sexual relations and things like that. So I, I think that this is something that is definitely, they can be saved. Um, I think the guy, again, 
he can feel disappointed and things like that. But I do believe that they can work together to make that better. She didn't keep it from him because she just didn't want to tell him that he's not great. She's keeping it from him because she's she has a, 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 a an issue with sexual contact, with human sexual contact based on a traumatic experience of her past. So I think that it's something to take into account that and and those things aren't really great to talk they're not fun to talk about it's trauma you know what i mean nobody just come just open up and be like okay here's all my trauma here's what i feel and think so i do believe that this is something that can be worked through um and for them to to get past so i i hope i you know i don't know where you get these stories but if they're real people i hope that they're able to get some help <laughs> Oh my gosh, KVRB killing me with these hot topics, but I love them. I love them. So thank you. Thank you again for allowing me to participate. Once again, it's it's great week. I love it. All right. All right. That's uh, interesting. Interesting. Let me get back to some more music. If you want to participate and you're listening in live, you can call me. Seven seven four four zero eight 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 six zero. So again, seven seven four four zero eight 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 six zero. Seven seven four four zero eight 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 six zero. Why am I not getting my music back up? Um, all right, let me. Uh, run to some more music in the meantime uh, my music uh, seem to not wanting to play anymore but uh, let me see here let me see here I'll pull this one up here and uh, let's get let's get this going why am I not getting my music to play uh, interesting here hello 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 all right hold on a minute what's going on here I'm not getting my music to play it's uh all right let me just uh go back to one more voice note in the meantime until um we sort this music thing out uh get this one more well this is quite the tough topic to talk about right mm -hmm. it is i mean talk there's me. two sides of the story here okay. all right honestly He's right to be mad, right? Mm -hmm. You know, four years and you're thinking, all right, everything's good. Just to find out years later that you've been basically deceived, right? Into thinking what you think was true to not be. So mm -hmm. he has every right to be mad, okay. right? Okay. Um, I'm on his side with that one, you know. And on the flip side... You know, I can understand why she wasn't honest with him because let's, you know, talk truth. Men have egos, mm -hmm. women have egos too, but to tell a man that upfront, it's, it's, it's a touchy topic. It's a, it's, you know, a sensitive thing to say. So on her side, maybe she just kept it to herself because she just, didn't want to bruise his ego or embarrass him or make him feel obviously the way he feels now. So really the truth to it all is maybe she should have told him earlier, right? That would have, I guess, lessened the blow of him finding out later on, you know, maybe there was a way if she told him earlier in the relationship that he could have, you know, tried to adjust the problem. Um, there's no one answer to this. It's about, you know, where each person is coming from. And the fact that obviously there is some trauma from mm -hmm. her past that too, you know, obviously factored into how upfront she is about something like this maybe she didn't want to lose him um so maybe if she told him earlier on in the relationship he would have just 
not been the same, maybe they wouldn't last as long. Maybe she needed to keep the relationship as security. And uh, yeah, so lots of pieces to the story, but that's kind of my thoughts here on this. All right, thank you. Just saying. The audit is on the job and tuning in. Thank you, thank you, sis. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate your presence. Oh, and what we've done seems so wrong. Please, darling, don't you cry. Our sister so Camille on uh, YouTube saying that uh, she feels liberated. She feels liberated when her toys are involved. That's why she can let go. As if you're a poet. So have you. Very good with words, huh? This is the only thing to do. It's gonna hurt me, I can't lie. 508 is the WhatsApp line. What's your take? Understand. 774-408-8860 is the in-studio line, the live line. 774-408-8860. What's your take? It's the big people music tonight. This one here is from JC Lodge. We call her JC Lodge. Her mama called her June Carol Lodge. I bet you didn't know that. Her name is June Carol. We call her Jay Z. Understand me, want to try. Don't this music just take you back? Let's way, way back. Say goodbye. What are you remembering now that you're hearing these kinds of music? Ooh, I'm gonna miss you.
Sister Grace. Oh, so much that works. What's happening? What's happening? What's it going in your neck of the woods? Do you wanna make it up? In your eyes, I see only. Presenting for KVR Radio, Caribbean Vibes, with the Vibe Master. When I saw you standing there, I am. 
about fell off my chair And when you move your mouth to speak I felt the blood go to my feet It took time for me to know What you try so not to show Ten thousand volt. Ten thousand volt of hold. You love me to want you the way that I want you. Mr. John it Holt himself. Only let it be. You taught yourself years ago. You never let your feelings show. That you made for the title that you gave.
Absolutely no radio station uh, on Cape Cod <laughs> playing this song. Delroy Wilson, wish you were here. <laughs> Lord have mercy. My my my. Cause I feel like a child. Oh boy, oh boy. is playing in the background i'm gonna play something for you here i'm gonna play uh, a little something for you here and ladies i want you to listen to this one here ladies i want you to listen to this one here this one is for you ladies 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 let me get this straight you're married to him right you guys are actually married. You guys are in a committed connection. You guys are only with each other. But yet when he wants it, you don't want to give it to him. But then when you want it, you convince him to lay down with you, right? But then all this time passes in between. And so what happens is you're teaching him to no longer desire you. You're teaching him to no longer want you. And then when he doesn't come towards you, then you're like, oh, well, is he cheating? Something's wrong. But when he does come towards you, then you deny him. So what is it that you want him to do? Because at the end of the day, if you signed up to be the sole provider of this man and you are expecting him to only be with you, then why aren't you providing that one thing that only you can provide, that you signed up to provide? All right. <laughs> Got it, got it, got it.
remember the grumpy weatherman. There was uh, a weatherman not so long ago that what happened he it wasn't really a weatherman but he worked at the the television station and for that morning the actual weatherman was unable to make it in so he substituted they had him substitute they sent him out on assignment and you know how it go when um it starts snowing a little bit in the united states they send out the weather people to go cover the snow i have no idea why they do it uh if you ask me i think it's ridiculous i think it's nonsensical there's no need to send out anybody to go and uh, um cover the snow we all know what snow looks like but for some strange reason whenever there is a snowstorm they send these guys out to go out into the uh, the snow the middle of the snow and do some dramatic things some ridiculous nonsense well this guy um he was upset and this was a real thing this is not a skit because we know we see some of these skits on um i remember when it happened uh, but i found it recently and i thought i would play it for you guys it was uh it's hilarious and uh, i thought i would uh, just uh, remind you this is my favorite weather guy because he is speaking the truth that most weathermen do not want to speak and uh, yeah uh it looks like snow just like i predicted in my forecast from the studio i'm not sure why i'm out here literally looking around it looks like snow you could just take a video of it snowing and show that why do i have to be here to describe snowfall it's pretty self-explanatory <laughs> seems like the cold has gotten you in an icy mood yourself ryan okay you know what shannon i am in an icy mood okay nice pun by the way all right i was just standing out here for 20 minutes waiting for you guys to throw to me and i was just oh doing some thinking I spent $120,000 on a degree and four years in college to come out here and look around and describe what I see. I literally learned that in kindergarten, I spy. It makes zero sense. Also, you know what else I was thinking while we're at it? When it's like a nice day or sunny, you never send me out to the lake or to the pool for a live shot, but oh, when there's a hurricane or snowing or a blizzard or a flood, send me out there. I'll cover it. Perfect. I guess you have a point there, Ryan. We're looking at these reports and the forecast doesn't look good. People are worried during the... <laughs> You're so bright. He was not happy <laughs> I mean, and I, 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 I feel the guy's pain. He was not happy. They sent him out there to cover snow. We all know what snow looks like, and they're sending him out into the middle. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's nothing. It's nothing to. I understand if uh, you know if there's a snowstorm and people are losing power, and you have to report the news that okay, X amount of people have lost power, or whatever. I get that. But to just send somebody out there to just go cover some snow, irregular snow. I mean, I get why the guy was so upset. I remembered when it happened and he went viral for it, you know. And um, yeah, as he should. It, it, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are we're still here and we're getting back to some more music. It is big people sinting tonight. Gypsy. Another one from Eddie Lovett. You turn on my Gypsy girl.
still want to participate, you can participate. You can still uh, 508-762-7621. Still taking your WhatsApp messages. Or if you want to call in live, 774-408-8860. For those of you who are just uh, tuning in, if you did not hear what was uh, happening, let me go back and, uh, and read for you um what's happening here basically the guy was in a relationship with uh, a, a with a his girlfriend for four years and uh, uh before they 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 got together there was uh, some there was a traumatic incident uh, something happened she was uh, sexually molested throughout their relationship she was faking it she kept faking it you know that um she was reaching you know for the stars and the moon and all the galaxies beyond yeah you know fireworks were going off only to find out that boy no no go so you know after four years he found out that all his hard work you know i don't know if i want to say it was in vain but his hard work wasn't too too paying off as much as he had uh, hoped you know and uh and thought because uh for the entire time he was uh he only managed to hit that spot twice yeah two times in four years so she finally came clean i don't know why she finally came clean but she finally came clean and decided to tell him that hey you're not cutting it boss you're not hitting it and um the only time that i'm really getting there is when i use my toys and obviously he was a little bit upset he's a little bit mad and so he's asking you know if uh, it is reasonable for him to feel mad for him to be mad and upset that she was lying to him all this time so uh, I'm going to read some comments later on. and uh, But uh, if you want to send me your WhatsApp message, 508-762-7621-774-408-8860 is the live line to call if you want to participate. All right. And I want you Shout out to those of you in Jamaica listening in from down there in Central Jamaica. 
Also, if you're tuning in from Clarendon, you know Manchester. I do, girl. Yes, I do. And I want your love. And of course, we have to uh, give a big shout out to Trelawney. James Montego Bay. Gypsy. Hanover. Westmoreland. Gypsy. Found Gypsy girl. Those of you tuning in from Salt Spring. Gypsy. Lilliput. Gypsy. and gentlemen let me uh get back to the whatsapp line to see who else is on and what you are saying good evening so i read the topic of the week and it made me it makes me have mixed feelings so i feel like i need more information so the guy is the guy taking it upon himself to feel like he's inefficient at making her finish or does she make him feel that way with like comments made or something like that? I feel like there's a piece of this missing, but either way, this is something that he shouldn't be taking on on his own. This is her trauma. She has to heal from it in order for him to even attempt to try and make her do something that is all in, you know, it's in her mind's control. Um, hmm, very interesting. And no, he's not wrong for being upset. Um, but he's being upset at the wrong thing. She, I think it's wrong that she lied to him. She should have been upfront and honest and told him the truth. And then maybe they could have worked on the reasoning um, together. Although this is a journey that I feel she has to make on her own. She has to recover from that trauma. Um, but um, he does have a right to be upset over the fact that uh, she didn't uh, mention it to him and was faking the whole time rather than telling the truth and being upfront and honest about it. So that she could start the process of working on it with him as her support. All right. Interesting take there. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right. Cool, 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 cool. What do you mean to me? We have climbed so high. Why our love should die. I love you. Sha la la, I love you. 
Chris Wilby Show. So deep inside, I knew it. International show with a Jamaican vibe. Heard right here on Caribbean Vibes Radio Network. Days are cold we cover the globe like no one else can. I just can't. Streaming live to Linkage Radio. I didn't knew. Also broadcasting on Fit FM Jamaica 96.7. You were lying. And that your game of love was. Times you left me crying I'll play your game as if I didn't know They warn me that someday I'll learn a lesson And that a broken heart would be the cause Believe me when I say Just as the news of the world started to begin. 
sad movies, sad movies. Does sad movies make you cry? <laughs> I tell you, she had to come. She had to be covering up. She can't make anybody know what's going on, eh? Her darling and her best friend just stroll right on in. What a sin thing, man! I tell you, I tell you. Anyway, I'm going to reading uh, another response here to the my uh, to the topic, and uh, it says here my take. She has her reasons why she is unable to put it all on the table as far as her sexual needs are concerned. I agree with her, uh, with her partner, that she withheld certain information from him. But I think he should understand why she did, as he is very much aware of where this was originated. Some females have a hard time reaching a climax as it is, and she might have found it easier to find an out than an actually than to actually have to admit she has those types of issues. Funny enough, she's able to achieve an orgasm with her toys, but she's not able to do so with him. It's obvious deep seated trauma is involved when she has that human connection and she feels way more comfortable with her inanimate objects. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Camille. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that one there. All right. about now we have a few minutes left in the show i want to give a big shout out to everyone everyone will tune in this evening thank you thank you thank you 
<laughs> just about uh, another 15 minutes or so what you say. thank you for sticking around you thank you for keeping me company on a thursday my name is chris will be the call me the vibes man i'll see you this is the chris will be show if loving you is wrong i don't wanna be right if loving you says jeffrey says he's not wrong for feeling the way he feels and she also has a legitimate reason for her sexual disconnection due to trauma for the guy knowing you are not able to make that woman reach her climax is a punch right in the manhood and can also affect libido sex drive and urges towards the woman they need to go to therapy and have a discussion first and see what he can implement to meet her needs and what she can do to improve sexual experiences thank you thank you very much jeffrey I don't wanna be appreciate it bro if loving you is wrong slow it down slow it down a little bit my 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 love wasn't here with me tonight I would leave I tell you, I tell you, I back. <laughs> Having all kinds of uh, all kinds of issues, everything turning over in the studio here, and uh, <laughs> but we keep we keep going on, we keep going on. Let's go. And he's fine, sunshine most of the time. Chipping around and spinning around and doing all kinds of boom flick hooper lick. Palm tree low, rent so low, don't you know? But guess what? As soon as that happened, you know, we just whap it back and just catch it back, you? But I'm a Jamaican boy, you born and raised. Nowadays I'm lost between two shores. 
gonna get back to that one. We're gonna get back to that one. Let's get back to this one here and uh, take it from the top. Yeah, we're taking this one from the top. you before it is big people radio it is big people radio if my love
But if I hold on to you, I'm going to lose myself. And I'm going to repeat that one more time. I don't want to lose you. But if I hold on to you, I'm going to lose myself. And let's just break that down real quick, right? The more you hold on to someone that is not applying themselves or that is not applying themselves in a way that is going to uphold the vision and the dreams and the goals that you have for yourself and you consider it having it with them, then I have to let you go. And that's the power because the power comes from the fact that you had to silence all of your emotions. You had to, you know, suppress all of the feelings you have for this person or suppress all of the thoughts and visions that you had with this person. You have to know how to suppress that in order to let them go. And that's power because how hard is it that you place that person in your dreams, your visions, your goals, and then they don't come with the the same energy or they're not reciprocating the same worth ethics or they're not even trying to um, feed into the vision or the idea, but they were so quick to just say, okay, yeah, I want that too. It's time for us to start realizing something, right? It's time for us to start when we're dating someone or we're, we're planning this vision with this person we have to i don't want to lose you but if i all right uh ladies and gentlemen so we uh have uh, pretty much come to the end of uh, the program for this evening and uh, i want to say thank you thank you thank you i i appreciate you being here this evening this is where we take the curtains down and that video ladies and gentlemen that's how it is uh I didn't chop off the lady's head. That's how they made the video. I was wondering why they made the video with half of her face showing. That's kind of funny, but that's how they made it. Wasn't he with me? It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, don't it? They got to show the video with half of her face. I would leave with you for just a little while. I want to say thanks to Linkage Radio for carrying this broadcast. I love it. Thanks to Julia Mikkel Benaya and the Fita FM crew. Yes. Thank you, Julia. Love you now. And I'm sorry. Looking forward to being back here next week uh, with uh, the hot topic and uh, whatever else uh, that comes with it. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. Thank you, those of you who tuned in, those of you who called and participated, those of you who sent in your voice note, and those of you who sent in uh, your written uh, uh, response. I thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. I couldn't take the chance. As usual, my name is Chris Wilby. Won't be right. I'll be back here uh, on Sunday. Uh, for the Divine Praise Gospel Show. I hope that you will join me then. We meet again. Some He's hoping that you're going to have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy the rest of the night. Be good to yourselves and to each other. Always remember that yesterday is just a cancel check and tomorrow is a promissory note. Today is live and ready cash. You be sure to use it and use it wisely. Thank you, my friends. Peace out.
what life would be Ain't much good without a woman She can nag and be a constant pain Oh, that woman But those hips, she's got me whipped And it's just too hard to resist What a woman
I'm so glad you 